want to say two, three words uh, uh, before we start the, the workshop. So, uh, first I want to say thanks to the Jurimini Foundation, uh, to Maria, Sergio Roberto, Juliette, that, uh, all the people that uh, organized the project. Uh, thanks for giving me the opportunity to be here and share with you this uh, beautiful time. And uh, so I was working during uh, 2020, 2021. Uh, I was working in the Homelands project. So I was in a beautiful group. Uh, in, we worked in a school in a mute. So and uh, for this uh, workshop, I just want to have like a background, uh, two concepts, and one of them is uh, the co-creation that uh, Sergio has played very well. So it's uh, to create, to make something, but uh, within everyone a little piece uh, in, in the work. And at the end, the main objective is that everyone uh, can recognize themselves in the uh, in the final work. It could be a piece of theater, music, or cooperation. Is I think uh, almost everything we can create uh, together. So this is one concept, the cooperation, because we are going to work together. In, uh, in this exercise, and the second concept is uh, well, homelands. And uh, during all the exercise, uh, the objective is uh, think about what uh, does uh, home means from, uh, for everyone. So it's very important to think about what means home. Uh, home uh, for me. So what represent? Because uh, to be at home or the word home, I think it's a uh, it's a very huge uh, concept because everyone, each person, I think uh, every person could have a different concept. Uh, maybe for me, home is uh, related with uh, I don't know music. Another one maybe, I don't know, the places uh, for other people, maybe the family. So the word home, I think, is very, very wide. And so I want to that, that, uh, all of us think about uh, what it means to be at home for me. So uh, about the exercise. It's divided in, uh, I can say, two or three parts. So the first one is uh, we have here uh, two pieces of paper. So we are going to use them to express ourselves. So the first thing is I want you to be to feel uh, free uh, while drawing because it's about. Uh, Draw, but don't be, don't worry. Uh, we are not uh, searching for the most beautiful drawing. It's just uh, express yourself. If you want to draw just lines, because for you represent something. If you want to draw uh, a sun, uh, an animal, I don't know that that, uh, that represent uh, the more calm. So you can do it. Uh, very very free that and draw uh, express yourself is it is the the objective of the the white space here to express ourselves and uh, okay the first part uh, uh, I want to invite you so we are going to I think we are going to pass one by one by one I think and then we can start uh, there. So, um, so I have here some uh, markers. Then uh, you 
you can take the color you want and uh, draw what you want. to draw the bad words. Uh, you can, uh, as I said, just uh, make a line, make uh, organic lines, make a draw. Uh, what I want is that you think about home when, uh, while you are drawing. Think about what means home for you. Then uh, continue doing the, the line, the drawing. Then uh, when you get here, so, uh, I, I, uh, Second part, uh, I want you to do the same thing, but then I will add uh, another element that is the music, because uh, as I said, uh, we did this uh, workshop with a um, with a musical uh, with the music school, so that's why the music it, it was a very important element. So then you start drawing but this time with music and at the end we are right here so here finish the part of about uh, thinking about home and the last part is just to go uh, to the white and write uh, the last uh, thought about home the, the last thing that, that, that you uh, that you got during the exercise, you can uh, write it here and uh, like that. Uh, we will have uh, our thoughts, but in a physical way, so in words, in a words and way. So, so we can start. 
don't know if we can do it in this way or this way. Yeah, if, if you want, we can start in this way. And uh, just uh, when somebody starts, we are going to wait uh, a bit to give some time to, to draw. Uh, so I think we can start. Yes, we can start. You can take it, uh, you can take one or two markers and uh, draw until here. Yeah. It's not necessary to, to be, uh, you can draw what you want. So it's like a line. Yeah, a line. Line, but of course you could improvise in that line. Mm -hmm. Ich 
okay. Uh, it was the first part. And uh, now uh, everyone have uh, the, the word in the paper. So for the second part, I want uh, this part. Uh, this part has to be uh, more uh, reflexive, very uh, introspective. Uh, because I want to, to really, um, I want to put your thoughts, uh, I want to, to see your thoughts in the paper. So try to be, uh, to be very rep repressive, searching the concept of, of uh, home. And uh, we are going to, to take uh, the marker as the first part. And, uh, this time uh, I will put some uh, I will play some, some music in the background. Uh, but if you want you can go with the music or it's, it's uh, just just to try to, to bring uh, the, the thoughts, the, the energy, the movement. Uh, so we are going to start in the same uh, order. And, uh, So, and why you are uh, drawing in the, in the second piece of paper? In, uh, in any point of, of, the, of the paper you can paste the word that, that uh, you have in, in your paper. So, when, when you feel it could be at the beginning, at the middle, at the end, it doesn't matter. When you feel that you have it in the, in the paper. Thank you. 
without even asking. Yeah. It just happened. Is it like she looked in India and we found out the great grandmothers were from Sydney in the first place. Oh, three or four generations? I think you're with me. Very easy. We found out that they had five months of sleep. That's neat though. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, there is some that says that people are linked by invisible threats. Yeah. And uh, that's true, at the end we don't see them, but they no. exist and we tend to cover that. Okay, uh, now as you can see, we have a, a beautiful, beautiful work and we did it together. And I really appreciate the time and uh, the time you take to spread yourself in the papers. And I hope that uh, during the exercise, uh, it helps to you to find uh, some uh, thoughts about home and uh, as you can see as well we have different words uh, so it's a concrete way to see that home has very different meanings for all the people and I really like, uh, like the way um, for example uh, you are, I, I, I want you to you were connecting all the papers and it's like a co-creation world. We are together, we are connected, we are co-create uh, in a co-creation world. And it's very, very beautiful to see how uh, we mix the different colors. And as you know, we are here from very different places. And uh, every, every, each place uh, has very beautiful things. Uh, as you, you have uh, inside yourself very beautiful things and I'm very sure that yeah, each one of you as well uh, have a very important part of your home inside and uh, maybe home is, is not just a place maybe as, as I can uh, read here in the whiteboard maybe it's a trip Maybe it's the, it's the way, it's the path. Maybe it's not just a place uh, where I feel good. So maybe it's a lot of experiences. Home is what, what, uh, what I find, what the people that I find in, in my way. And so it's, it's a very uh, beautiful concept that is not uh, a, a static concept. I think it. Uh, Ways, in, in a different, different ways and so this is the end of the exercise and uh, after if, we, if you have time you can take time to, to read to read the words to see for example I can recognize here some I don't know maybe uh, there are some uh, the shape of, of, of people, I can recognize a, a candle. You know, there's when you, when you start to see, there are some elements that uh, could speak about uh, where we where we come from. So I think uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful world, and uh, I hope you enjoy the, the, the place to 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 draw in a free way and express yourself in the paper that is, is also an objective to express ourselves and uh, what well, so I think uh, is the end of the exercise and I want to thank you very very much for your time and your dedication to, to the exercise. One word? Yes. Sorry, I, uh, about the shoe. Do you have an idea why the shoe? No. So, in fact, it, it, it represents as well as I say the trip is, is the, the way. So, we came from different places. So, sometimes we have to move, we have to walk. 
So that's the meaning of the, of the shoe. We have to, to move. There are a lot of people uh, out here that in this moment are searching for a solution, searching for a better place and to live. And so that was the meaning uh, also for, for the shoe. So well, that's all. Does anyone have any remarks, any questions on this, on this uh, or comments on this uh, workshop? Or I think myself. It was very interesting to see that everyone did different lines because in the beginning you see the line with the line and then you have now so many different ones. Crazy. And we were very stiff here. Because we were we were in a flow, but we were very still stiff. And with the music, it just went. I mean, yeah, the dynamic is incredible. What happened between also um, us as individuals and us as a group, you know, um, and what we all thought was home. I thought that was very, very interesting. Yeah, in can I add something? Because it's very interesting because uh, this exercise, the, the, the most uh, the time in the first paper, we have we can uh, see straight lines, like uh, each person take uh, a line, take away. But in the second part, we can see more organic, more connect. So there's a. A difference between between the, the, mm -hmm. the two papers. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting too. We can see uh, how maybe I don't know maybe the music maybe uh, it comes naturally after the the, the thought about home. I don't know, but it's very interesting because uh, each time it, it's it's uh, very similar. In the first time we are very straight, but in the, in the second in the second part more connected and more organic. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think the day starts in this one because that one there is travel, hotel, stress, everything just thinking now I have to do this and this and this. And this is now where the day is, where the day is going. Mm -hmm. yeah. the, the, it's more open-minded this one. Mm -hmm. yeah. But if you give you give us uh, an opportunity to choose the different uh, way to, to think in that uh, second uh, paper. For, for example, for me, the first one was a map. map. Mm -hmm. When I was born, when I, when I uh, was in uh, my teenage uh, like a teenager, when I come back to Portugal, and make a map like uh, show the small cities or the, the, the big cities that I went in here. Uh, the nature, the nature of the places, okay. the trees, the, uh, or the river, or the big ocean. Or, or, so for me, it was uh, interesting to make two different uh, trips in in the in this uh, different way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I enjoy it. Right. Thank you. I choose uh, this, this music because uh, I feel that it gives a, a background to, to, to think about home and as well uh, because the, in, in the lyrics it's, uh, he said uh, every day uh, every day in my heart is the answer so I, I really like this phrase because when we have to when we have to leave uh, and we need to, to leave some place uh, we we need places uh, behind us. It's uh, very important to keep the very important things into for me into our heart and mind to keep it going. Even if you are not physically in your house, 
but you, you can keep with you the beautiful things about your home. So that's where the music. Uh, yeah. What I also find very interesting is it's not the first time I do this exercise. Is I learned two things of this. First of all, that it calms me down. Mm. It's not only the me, but I also see some people. Like the moment that someone, maybe it's personal thing, and the moment that someone draws a line, I'm like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, very uh, it's really cool. At the same time, and this is something that we also discussed in the last training uh, two weeks ago, is, is I question myself, my position in this process, because we have been doing this exercise now, and um, I was also, to be very honest, a bit looking around how you react, not so much if you like it or not, but how you react. And it's often that we as mediators, we expect from the participants of our group that they are there, that they are co-creating, that there is a tension. But when we are learning about this, we think we can stand outside of it. And what I mean with that is often we did some exercises uh, in the last uh, training. Uh, this is not very, it's not really the same exercise, but the exercises were things that uh, asked a lot of courage, which was difficult for some of the mediators. But at the same time, he said, like, if you want your group members to do that, you should be able to do it yourself. Mm -hmm. But we stand outside of it. So if we ask for attention, let's give it attention ourselves. And I felt that you feel the need, like, oh, I have to talk a bit. Oh, I have my, my phone. I'm going to talk a bit. So there was a moment that there was a, a lack of attention in our own group here. People just talk about other things. Uh, and then we, we see this more as a kind of a conference, you know. We are looking down on possible best practices. But I think you can really understand, personal opinion, what a real best practice is if you live it from the beginning till the end, the way you would like the participants to do it. And this is something I tell myself every day. Because we often go, and it's not only for us as participants, but it's also for when we work with groups, and there's always a, um, a person which is responsible for the group a teacher or whatever. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, yeah, it's, tre uh, it's very nice what you do. I'll, do, I'll look, I'll look, <laughs> and I'll do my things. <laughs> no? Yeah, yeah, that's true. They yeah, are the most important true. people, actually. In the, you're more important than you because they keep the group together. It's, so that's, it's yeah. almost the same thing as when you see here how, how stiff we were. We were still not here. Exactly. And, um, when we came with the music and flowed with the music, then all of a sudden we were not concerned about our cell phones or what the other person was doing. The conversation was still there, but um, our attention was here, actually, more. And concentrating on, oh, look what he did, look what she did, look, look at this wave and what is going in. I kept thinking, what is, what is what is happening in her head or his head, or how do you interpret what they're doing? But I thought that was very, very interesting, um, how to come back into here and now. Yeah. It's very hard sometimes, like looking at your cell phone, oh mm -hmm. my goodness, somebody called, you know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I'm trying the same thing, but I, I do understand, yeah. In another way, it's not a perfect yeah, but sometimes when you test uh, workshop and you feel that people is going so like this, maybe it's not enough uh, structure. structure or uh, with children or so you feel it if uh, five children go and make noise maybe it must be a little bit more a rhythm I don't know right? it's not if, uh, it's like this uh, where yeah. sometimes you, you try and say oh no it's better Maybe two together and uh, not breaking too much between the two. The two. Uh, it's it's, uh, it's nice to test some sometimes before uh, with uh, another group. We uh, have the they have the first five minutes, not the world there, but sometimes you have to yeah. be aware of what is living the energies that are living. You see people with the cell phone, you just smack them in the face and you say, just a tip, just a tip. We come back to But uh, another positive thing, so I think it was very nice to ask words during the drawing, very uh, deep, 